Hey guys, this is E with Scrapbooking with Me. Sorry it has been so long since I've done a video. I know it's been about a week. I have been super busy with our sale and then trying to get things ready for our classes next week. If you are not already signed up for our classes in Pigeon Forge, Tennessee at the Stamp Escape, go down below and I'll have a link and you can sign up for classes. Now this is not all stamping, it's all kinds of stuff. There's mixed media, there's, um, we, we're making some baskets, uh, boxes, different things like that. So go down and sign up, we would love to see you there. This is going to be a desk organizer, something you can do for Mother's Day or Father's Day. Okay, you're going to need a piece of cardstock that is 11 inches by 4 inches. And on the 11 inch side, you're going to score at 3.5 at seven and at ten and a half so that's all the scoring that you're going to do on that piece I'm going to lay that one aside because I'm going to go ahead and score my other pieces you're going to need a piece for the pocket that is five and a half by four and a quarter okay and on the five and a half inch side you're going to score at two and a half and at three then you're going to turn it to the four and a quarter inch side and you're just going to score at one half inch on both sides and I'm just going to flip mine around to make it a little bit easier for me and lay that aside for now then you're going to need a piece that is two and a half by three these measurements will be on my blog so don't forget to go over there and check them out the link will be below you'll need a piece that is two and a half by three on the let's see two and a half inch side you're going to score at every one half inch so one half one two and a half and two then you're going to turn it and on the three inch side you're just going to score at two and a half okay so that's all the scoring that you're going to do I do believe so we're going to put that down and we'll go ahead and fold on our score lines okay so you will have something that looks like this when you finish looks like a little triangle so we can lay that aside for a moment and we're going to go ahead and work with our we're going to go ahead and fold our pocket and burnish those Fold that side and fold this side, and then you have those two folds in the middle. Okay, right in the middle where you have that two and a half and three inch score line, you want to snip those just up to that first score mark. So just like that. Flip it around to the other side and do the same thing. all we're doing is just taking it right up to that score line and now we just need to put some glue on this I'm going to use my art glitter glue put a little bit of glue on the backs of these and you're going to bring these up and meet them with that side one right there. So just make sure that those score lines meet and don't go over anything like that. So just meet that there. Do the same thing on the other side. Just meet those bottom score lines. Don't worry about the side of it right now. So just meet those to make that little box right there. Hold those for just a second and then we're going to put some glue on these. And these are going to go on the outside of that. So just fold them over the outside, press them down. Don't, don't over fold them so don't push them too far. Just fold them right up to that score line. Do the same thing on that side. 
make sure that I have that. Nope, I don't have that straight, so let's pull that up really quick before it adheres. And try that again. There we go. That's straight. Okay, so we have that so far. There's our little pocket. And now we're going to go ahead and do the, this is the little pencil holder or pen holder. So we're going to go ahead and fold that. It's the one that we scored on all those half inch lines. I'm going to go ahead and fold and burnish all of those. Okay, and then on the bottom where you made this half inch score line, that's going to be the bottom of your pencil holder. So this right here is going to be your bottom. You're going to snip up on all of those score lines right to that first score line that goes across. So just like that, just snip up on all of those. Now when this folds up, it's going to fold up into a square. But you're, you don't need all of these down here. So what we're going to do is we're going to, let's see, let me make sure that I do this. Snip off the right ones. Now you could leave them like that if you wanted to and just fold them in on each other. But I, it creates just a little bit too much bulk for me. So I know that I want to cut off this one right here. I'm going to cut this one. No, nope, I'm going to cut this second one off right here. And I want to cut one of these off of the end. So I'm going to cut this one off. Because I don't need all of that bulk in there. So now we're just going to fold this around. And we'll look at it now and see what we got. There we go. Perfect. So what you're going to do is fold it up into a square. Put some glue on this. Make sure that you meet that score line. And then just fold that up. Making sure that your top is meeting correctly and one of them's not taller than the other, which mine was. So we're going to do it again. There we go. Just like that. And if you need something to put in there to press on it, just run a stylus or something up in there to so you can kind of give it a press. Then you just want to fold these over. And I just put a little dab of glue on each one of them. And just to make sure that it folds up nice and square. Hold that for just a second. And I go ahead and put my pen down in there and just give it a good smash. So there we are with that. Just like that. Now you have a piece that is three and a half by four. And this is going to be the back photo display pocket. Because, you know, you've seen all of these little stands and things that are sitting on people's desk. And when somebody comes in and sits down, they normally see the back of it. So we're going to decorate the back of it up so that they'll see something really pretty on the back as well. So what we're going to do, as I said, this is three and a half by four. So we're going to come in a half an inch all the way around and mark this. And I'm going to move it down just a little bit so I can get a good view of it. Okay, and I'm going to use my Tim Holtz ruler. I'm going to put that half inch line right on the edge of that paper. And then I'm just going to draw a little light line down through there. I'm going to turn it. Do the same thing on this side. Just a little light line. That's the quickest and easiest way I know of to get these measurements done. Okay, let's see if it looks kind of halfway straight. I think so. So there are our light lines. I know it's hard for you to see on this paper. So what we're going to do, and you could have done it on the back side if you'd wanted to. I should, probably should have, but I didn't. So what we're going to do is we're going to take our ruler 
on the metal side. I'm going to put it right on that line. And I'm going to put my glasses on so I can see. I'm going to hold it down firmly and start right at that one half inch mark and cut down. I'm going to do this all the way around. So I'm cutting out that inside. Now if you want to do this on your Cricut, you can do that as well and I will give you the inside measurements as to what it needs to be in just a moment. that piece right now. Alright, the inside of this little photo display measures two and three eighths by two and seven eighths. That's the inside measurements of this. Now I'm going to take my eraser and I'm going to go over and make sure I have all of those pencil marks erased. Okay, so that is going to go right there on the back side. It's going to cover that. Our photo will go right here in the middle. Now I'm going to take an acetate sheet. This is just a little piece of scrap. This is the type that I use. We can't get this to sell, but I will leave a link below as to where you can purchase this. I've had this for probably a year and a half and I'm still using on it. It lasts a long time. Okay, so this acetate sheet is cut at um, three inches by three and a half inches. I'm going to put my mat back down. Okay, and I'm just going to lay that right on the back side and I'm going to glue that down. And I am going to use a little bit of ATG tape to glue this. I'm just going to put it right up at the edge. This is the 1 8 inch. And then just put that down like that. So there's your acetate sheet and there's our little picture frame. And we can clean that off again in a moment. So let's lay that one aside. And now it's time to just start assembling, putting everything together. Now I am going to, I'm going to put this folded, I'm going to fold it up and I'm going to glue this on the inside right there. So it, everything is nice and clean. And again, I'm going to use my score tape. I'm using the quarter inch. We do have plenty of score tape in stock. If you're want, needing some, wanting some, just hop on over to the shop. So let's pull this up, put this down, right at the edge, right on that score line, just like that, okay? Okay, so that makes your little triangle. Now, if you want to make this a lot stronger, this is strong enough for me, I, I use one like this on my desk, and it is strong enough, but if you want to make it a lot stronger, you can either use two pieces of cardstock and glue them together, or you can use chipboard or something like that to make this part. But like I said, this works great for me. Once I get everything put on, it, it stays just exactly like I Okay, we're going to put this right here. This is our pocket. This is going to be the front. So we're going to put that right there. Again, I'm going to use some score tape on the back because I want this to hold really well. 
Okay, now the trick to using your score tape and being still being able to get a good bond, but yet be able to move it around for just a little bit, is to take your art glitter glue and put it on the top of your score tape. You can also use a glue stick and do the same thing. I just use this. It's what I've been using for quite a while. It gives you that a double bond, but yet it gives you just a little bit of, of maneuver time. All right. Now you want to set it just as close to the edge as you can on the bottom and on the side. Just make sure that you have it straight. So I'm gluing it right at the bottom and then right at the edge. And I am going to take my bone folder. I'm going to put my hand on the inside and I'm going to go with my bone folder back and forth to kind of glue, make sure that's glued down well, just like that. Okay, so that's sticking very well. And now our pin holder is going to go right here and I'm going to slide it right up to the edge of that and glue it both ways. Now, I could have moved it over, everything over just a little bit. As you can see, I have a little bit more room there than I do here, but it's going to be fine. It's not going to be a problem, but you can move yours over just a little bit if you want. I'm just going to glue mine right that way. So I am just going to put some art glitter glue on this. I don't think it's going to have a problem holding. And let's see, then I want to put some on this side. So I want to glue it to the side of that. And then I just want to sit it down there and make sure that the tops are even. And then just press it down. I'm going to use my pen and kind of put it down in there and press it down. Okay, so there is that part. Now we're going to flip it around, and on this side is where we're going to put our photo display. So that fits perfectly. It covers that up. So when this side is facing you on your desk, then this side is facing out, and you know your customers or whatever can see your photos that you slide down in there. So all we're going to put glue on is three sides, down through here, here, and here. And I am going to use a wet glue because if I use um, score tape, my photos will try to stick to that because it never dries. Score tape never dries. So I'm going to use this so that it'll dry up. And then I can slide my photos down in there. And just run it just as close to the edge as you can so that you can get a good sized photo in there. And press it down just like that. Okay, and then you still have this top open. Let me get a piece of paper so we can see that. You still have this top open so that you can slide your photo down in there. Okay, I started decorating a little bit and I thought my camera was on, but evidently it wasn't. All I did was I put a strip of the paper across here, that this paper right here, just cut it and put it across there. And then I run some little purple bling across that to kind of decorate that up. And then I put a little bit of green bling up here just to kind of bring some of this green that's in this paper up this way. Now, on the that's all I'm going to do on the front side I think I don't know I might put something down through here I'm not sure yet let's flip it around on this side I want to do something a little bit decorative because it is going to hold our photos or a photo that you can change in and out so I think I might run that around the frame just to give it a little bit of decoration and I'm going to use my ATG tape to hold this down it holds it down well and I don't have my hot glue plugged up so we're just going to use our ATG tape so I'm just going to run a strip as straight as I can and I'm going to clip this off because as sure as I try to tear it I'll tear the whole thing
And then I'll run a strip up the side. Okay, we just peel that off and then we're just going to start running this across. Try to keep it as straight as possible. Okay, so there's our frame, all framed out with those pretty pearls. I like that. And I think we're finished. I don't think I'm going to do anything else to it. I want this side right here will hold a 3x3 three three, um, note card. And this will hold a nice pen. So, and then you can put your photo back here. And I don't have a photo right here in front of me. So let's see if I can find something to put in there. Okay, I found the perfect sentiment to go in the back instead of a photo. This is from our April kit. You got this uh, page along with lots of other goodies. And I will put the link to our kit down below as well so that you can check those out but I love these sentiments they've got the um, gold or to me it looks like a rose gold foil on them they're very very pretty and I found the perfect one that says mom life is the best life I love that and it fits perfectly in there so I slid that down in there now you could take this out and replace it and put a photo in there if you wanted to but I just think that's adorable so my the people who come in will see that and then on this side and of course I will get the 3x3 three three post it notes that are the same color that are a, a pink a light pink or a purple or whatever but for now we're gonna put that one in there on this side I found one that a little saying that says living for the weekend how many of us who work full-time and have children at home husbands at home whatever that we don't live for that weekend we can't wait for the weekend to get come around so that we can have some off time relaxation time and just time to spend with the family so I think that is great too to put on the front and then while they're sitting working they can look up if they need a post-it note pen or whatever they can look up and see that living for the weekend and that that'll give them a little smile because they'll know that the weekend's just around the corner all right so we're going to put that right here at the bottom just like that so there is the front side and we'll put our pen back in there and this is just a little double ended pen it has a, a writing pen on that end and then a highlighter on this end I think that's good to put in there so we'll put that like that I think that's cute and this green all of this does coordinate because the paper that I took this out of this back right here is also from our April add-on kit and it is the pink paisley oh my heart that's what I took the paper out of to do this little pocket with and the pen holder so they do match perfectly as you can see look at this isn't that adorable they're all from the same collection so I'll leave that link below be sturdy it won't tip over when they start to get the pen out they can get the pen uh, if you didn't want to get the post-it notes that are attached together so they don't have to take out all of them then you can get the loose leaf little notepads and put in there where they can just pull one at a time out but I think it's super cute adorable it's very quick easy to make like I said all the instructions measurements and everything will be in the link below on my blog and I hope you enjoyed this. If you did, please give me a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button so that you don't miss anything. Next week, we will be in Pigeon Forge, Tennessee at the Stamp Escape doing classes. We have four classes scheduled as of right now. We will be up there with May May from May May Made It. She will be teaching as well. We're going to have a meet and greet so that we can meet all of you and get a chance to talk with you, answer some of your questions you might have. And then we're going to jump right into all those classes and the stamp the night away. Can't wait for that. That's on Friday night. If you haven't already signed up, 
please do so. Go to the link below and we would love to see you there. I won't be doing very many video tutorial videos from here next week, but I will be doing some live videos and some videos from up there for our classes. So we will talk to you guys later. Please have a wonderful weekend. Bye-bye.